What's going on everybody, Manufactured Opinion here, and welcome back to my Skyrim playthrough slash guide. And today I'm going to be bringing you another Dragon Priest mask at For Forlhost. Forlhost? <laughs> it's the, uh, the Ra Ragot uh, Dragon Mask, I think that's how you pronounce it. R-A-H-G-O-T. But yeah, it's southeast of Riften on top of that mountain. Um, and also I want to welcome all new subscribers, welcome aboard, I hope you're enjoying my videos. And I hope you stay tuned for lots of videos in the future. So yeah, thanks again. And this is probably one of the hardest, um, I don't know if you call it a mission, but one of the hardest dungeons I guess I have, I've had to crawl in the game. Um, there is a point in the, in the dungeon where you're in the crypts and you have a chance of going left, left through a, um, master master locked gate or you can go right through the crypts and let me tell you if you go right through the crypts you will be swarmed by five or six um of those undead people uh three times <laughs> and most of them are death lords um i actually had four death lords on me at once so this is by the way this is my second playthrough of the dungeon um my first playthrough i went right through the crypts oh i'll get destroyed by traps <laughs> Yeah, make sure you don't get hit by that trap. <laughs> I didn't really care because that does absolutely no damage. But, um, a lot of squishier people out there, so, <laughs> as I hit my companion. <laughs> oh, she got in the way. She deserves to get axed in the face. But, yeah, I strongly recommend that you're at a bit higher of a level to um, complete this dungeon. Um, if you are at a lower level, I... I highly, highly suggest you, when you get to that fork, to take the uh, master locked gate um, way. Because if not, you fight a lot of dudes and they're really annoying. And you save yourself a lot of trouble and you probably would be able to beat it if you're a lower level. Um, the undeads are just a pain in the ass. Um, and the dragon priest at the end likes to summon his undead minions. So that can. <laughs> that proves to be a bit of a problem. Although. He seems to wait to uh, attack you until you've handled most of them, which is nice. And I'll show you here at the end. Uh, lots of traps down here. Uh, nothing you wouldn't, can't be able, to, can't avoid. Uh, most of them are. There's two of those axe things, and then most of the other ones are just uh, chest traps, where you open a chest and spikes try to kill you. Um, but yeah, other than that, there isn't really too many traps. There's, uh, always check the urns. You'll see me do it throughout this video and all my other videos. Um, if you're like me and don't feel like wasting money on potions and haven't really worked on your alchemy skill, um, which you really should work on your alchemy skill because if your alchemy's high enough, you can get yourself some awesome armor, enchant some insane armor. You, what you do is you make, um, you make enchanter's potions, you forge a set of armor, um, that increases your smithing or rather your alchemy skill and then you make more enchantment um, potions with that set of armor on to make better smithing armor and then you smith in that armor and then you enchant your hot your highest armor with your highest enchanting potions so yeah I was, I was thinking about doing a video on that but there is plenty of those out there. <laughs> Maybe I'll still do it. I think what I'm going to be doing next is... I'll probably finish these Dragon Priests up. I'm going to do more Gogurt. I haven't really got a request for any Gogurts, Gogurt series, but... It's really fun for me, so I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do some more of that. And definitely uh, the Atronach Forge, if you don't know what that is. If you have 90 Conjuration... Um, you can... You can use this this thing called the Atronach Forge. It's in the College of Winterhold. And you can effectively make whatever armor you want without smithing. Without any smithing requirements. You just need the right the right items. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to be doing that next. And I get a cool little tip on how to get your conjuration up to 90 pretty fast. Haven't seen too many of those, so I'll definitely be doing that. Some more Gogurts. But other than that... <coughs> I, I don't really know like what level you should be for this. Uh, it all depends on what your build is. If you are a heavy armor type and you had at least like at least Daedric armor, maybe or maybe even ebony armor, 
um, lots of potions, and you just played very carefully. Uh, I I can I can't really see you having any problems with this dungeon. Just um, save before that master lock gate. If you run out of picks before you get through it, just reload your save and keep trying. Because you really, really, really don't want to go into that crypt. Let me tell you. <laughs> Man. Uh, I tried to run right through it. I think that was my problem. Like, I just wanted to get the key for the gate. So I ran right through it. And there was literally... I'm not... This isn't an exaggeration. I had 15. 15 undead on me. I killed them all. Mostly because I was able to pull off my fire breath shout at all 15 of them. I killed a few that way. But... <laughs> it gets it gets pretty insane down there. It's just, it's madness, <laughs> absolute madness. If definitely if you wanted to level up, um, that's a great spot to do it. <laughs> just try not to die. Uh, definitely bring a companion with you. That's a must. And like I said before, search every urn for potions. You guys probably do it anyways. <laughs> this game kind of just makes you ADD about that. You always feel like you're gonna miss something. Oh yeah, smithing supplies right there. There's a few steel, few steel ingots, ingots, gold ore, um, gold ingots, iron ingots, iron ore, all that fun stuff. Whoa, dude, totally surprised me. <laughs> I got the Daedric, the Daedric armor back on. I was getting pretty sick of the dragon armor, to tell you the truth. Daedric is, Daedric is better than the dragon armor. So, this is actually before I made my uh, my upgraded set with the. Um, with enchantment, with the enchantment potions and whatnot. A lot of these, do, you, you literally get swarm four or five at a time, a couple times, and a lot of them have eb ebony weapons too, so they'll do a good bit of damage. This guy gets destroyed. There's death lords. Lots of de death lords just piss me off. Is it just me or does, their shout does nothing? Is that supposed to disarm me or something? Every time they shout at me. That's actually that's force shout, right? Roda. <laughs> Pretty sure that's force shout. But uh it doesn't really do much to me. Just makes my screen all wobbly. See? Effective strategy for these guys is if you can, um hit them with a shout. I know it really takes it takes a while for them to uh, regenerate, but that'll stun them. Four shout works great. Um, use especially with these guys with the shields. You're gonna want to use your um, strong attacks a lot. It stuns them. Always, oh, I have the uh, the perk that stuns them when you hit them with a strong attack. And see, he had an ebony sword. I don't really have much room in my inventory, so I don't really pick up much stuff. <laughs> and I honestly still don't know what's weighing me down. I think it's. I think, honestly, I think it's my potions. I have so many of them. I think I just need to store them all and only bring, like, Cure Disease, Stamina, Magicka, and, um, Health Potions with me. Because <laughs> I just, honestly, I'm always, 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 always dealing with overweight. Being overweight. <laughs> I'm fat! <laughs> oh, clutch lockpicks. Oh, see, there's one of those chests that try to spike you to death. And fail epically at it, but my companion ran through a trap again. That never happens. I was I was really surprised that she ran through a trap. Let me tell you. Um, I, I've never seen that before. Uh, I cut out some of me looting. This is just right through that door you just saw. And here's that fork I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> I seriously, I seriously, seriously recommend that you take a left here. <laughs> if you are curious as to what happens in the right, go for it. It's actually not that hard if you take one little section at a time, but it will be four or five, six at a time. And if you run, try to run through the whole thing, it, you'll have it, upwards of 20 on you. <laughs> and then I tried running away and closing a door, and they can open doors. <laughs> uh, I just cut out on my lock picking because it took a little while. I think it took 15, not 15, I think it took 11 picks for me to get through that door. Because I never never put points in any of my lock picking skill, because you can eventually get it. It just takes a little time. Save your perks for combat slash smithing and whatnot. Don't worry about lock picking. At least that's how I see it. Everybody plays differently. Get on, skeevers! Skeevers skeeve me out. I guess that's why they're called skeevers. 
Oh yeah, there's some Quicksilver ore down here and some gold ore. There's a Quicksilver ore right there. There's a gold ore. So if you're looking for some of that, this is a this is a good location for it. I mean, it's not there's not a lot, but it is what it is. Going swimming. Nothing down here. Nothing that I found underwater. Oh, this part. This part you will get attacked by two death lords and um one of those scourge dudes. Uh, you see that there's fire on the ground here. It doesn't really do much, but it's a nice distraction, I guess. <clears throat> and actually, I jump up on the table and do a Gimli style last stand. Pretty epic. <laughs> Remember that from the first Lord of the Rings? Where Gimli jumps up onto the coffin. Oh, coffin. Coffin. <laughs> one of my last, one of my best friend's names. Last name is Coughlin. <laughs> you don't need to know that. Um, he jumps up on the coffin with his axe and he's, let them come! Let them come! <laughs> Give me such a badass. I want his beard too. I'd probably get fired from my job, but it'd be worth it just to have that beard. <laughs> See, the fire isn't really doing too much damage to him. Last stand for glory! Those Death Lords do a lot of damage too. So if you don't have some high level armor, you're going to want to bring in lots of potions before you come in here. Stamina and health if you're if you're a warrior. Magic users obviously magic potions. Sanguine Rose is awesome. You I know I said this in my other videos and I'll keep reiterating it. It's just having that weapon is awesome for boss fights and for when you get cornered. It, it's literally awesome. The dude you summon is just so badass. So this is right outside that room. I just cut out me looting and all that crap. Oh look, more dudes. Get destroyed. Uh, get a little distracted here. <laughs> As usual. I'm trying to save up my stamina potions here, that's why I'm not popping them. The last boss can prove pretty tricky. You're gonna want um fire resist fire resistance potions. Uh, I'd just say one. Because he's got sort of this flame shield around him. When you get closer to him, you start burning. Um He has flames. Flame destruction. Doesn't really do too much though. Especially if you got a companion <laughs> Oh, get destroyed. Especially if you got a companion and you got your uh, Sanguine Rose with you. It should prove pretty easy. You guys don't want to see me heal, so I cut that out. And this is just that room right next to where I just was. I cut out all the looting. And there's more fire on the oil on the ground here, so... You see this guy, you can just light it up. Damage him a little before you go in for the kill. Get out of here, fool! Yep. How's it feel? Ooh, embarrassing. To the face! I actually just saw uh, Sherlock Holmes yesterday. The movie was awesome! If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I wish I was Sherlock Holmes. He's such a badass. Especially in that movie. He's a genius. It's so awesome. You guys will like it. If you don't like it, come troll my video. And you have to take out a mortgage to buy a movie ticket. <laughs> and if you're buying a movie ticket for two, it's even a bigger mortgage. <laughs> it is what it is, though. It's a lot of fun going to the movies. I still enjoy it. Even though you can just hop on the internet and watch them. No, I'm not saying I do that. No, I'd never do that. No, no way. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it's just fun to go to the movie theaters, you know what I mean? The big screen... Sneak in your own drinks, your own your own food, your own appetizers. Because <laughs> you will go broke if you try to buy popcorn. I think it's like $750 for a large popcorn. Pretty insane. <laughs> Drain your savings account to go to the movies. Alright, maybe I'm over-exaggerating a little bit, but you get my point. <laughs> it was a two-hour... I, I it was a two-hour movie... I personally like longer movies. 
Um, especially if they don't overdo it with like like random crap that doesn't need to be in it. You know what I mean? Sometimes movies like fill stuff in that don't really need to be in to make the movie longer. Um, it was it was awesome. It flowed it flowed beautifully. Um, the ca the characters were great. Um, the fact that Sherlock Holmes meets his match that's awesome. Seeing a guy that that they make out to be this genius and that nobody can ever um, can never outsmart. It's really cool to see that see somebody come down to earth like that. See how they go through it. I know it's just a movie, but it's really cool to see. That's what I like most about it. Other people would just like the slow motion action scenes. Yeah. Which are really cool. <laughs> I won't spoil the rest for you. Oh yeah, this part. This little soul gem will shoot electricity at you. And I know in my last video, people, a lot of people recommended me just using the ward. Um, I'm too G to use a ward. Let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, no I'm not. But you can just run right by it. Just make sure you kill this guy first. He'll actually be shooting at you out f up top here. See that room down below? That's where we just were earlier before we got to that, that little hallway with all the oil and that one dude. Um, he'll be shooting you, shooting down at you, shooting arrows at you from that balcony into that room. So you're going to want to get through that room pretty quick unless the arrows aren't really doing too much damage to you. And make sure you grab this glass claw. Because there's a there's a claw door up here, and if you don't, you will have no you won't be able to get through. I can actually see a lot of people missing that, so make sure you grab that. Here's an expert door I get on the first time because I'm just so awesome like that. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my stomach's growling. So hungry, must eat. And all there is in here is an ebony shield. I don't really want an mini shield. Not overall, I'd be overweight, but I have so much money, it doesn't really, I don't even really need it. Uh, when you grab this potion up here, watch out, there's spikes pop out at you. And this door over here to the right is master locked. Uh, no, you're not seeing it right here. Uh, right th there. See it right in front of me? That's master locked, I didn't even bother with it. But you guys, go for it. Uh, I think, I'm not sure what's in that room. I didn't go in it the first time I was in it because I didn't have any lockpicks. I wasted them all in that stupid gate that I couldn't even get through. I was too too lazy to reload my save and <laughs> try to uh, lockpick it again. And I thought it would just be whatever. I kill a few dudes, grab the key to get through the gate. Won't be that hard. Then I got 15 undead guys on me. <laughs> oh man, good times in Skyrim. Good times. More searching of the urns. Gotta do it. Health potions. And this chest also has uh, spikes come out the wall at you. I uh, completely forgot and I get destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. And there's a... yep this is a section. Watch out the fire comes out of the ceiling here. My companion steps on the... steps on the switch. She never does that. I don't know. I don't know why she did it there. She she never activates any traps. None of the companions do. And sarcasm. <laughs> uh. Excusez-moi. Here's the hallway with the uh, with the door. I think it goes wolf, owl, um, snake. Wolf, owl, snake. And this one doesn't glitch out, which is nice. I've actually had a lot of people respond to that, um, the Skaldathin, uh, glitch door. I'm glad I could help so many people on that. It's awesome. I can't just, I can't imagine all the people that judo kick their Xbox if they didn't, if they didn't get some kind of help. <laughs> I'm glad they did. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, which we will, we'll do it, guys. Um, I think I'm going to judo kick an Xbox. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. Let me know how you feel about that. And here's the final boss. Make sure you save right before, just in case something goes Ari. Sixty-three hours of gameplay. Let me know how much you guys have. Sixty-three isn't that much. I think I put close to two hundred into Fallout Three. So we got lots of time. Lots of time. 
Pop up my Sanguine Rose here. Go forth, my minion! And then he summons four of his, uh, I think it's four. I think they're all Scourge, too, minions. Um, they can prove somewhat of a problem, but if you have potions, I wouldn't really worry about it. Just focus on one at a time, and you should be, you should be pretty good. Yeah, they're all Scourges. Looks like there's only three of them, though. So if you focus your heavy attacks on them, pop in stamina potions. This is for warriors. I know warriors better than I know magic, so... Most of the mage users out there know how to do it. And <laughs> I, shoot, I shoot fire at him while he's got a fire shield around him. That wasn't that wasn't too smart. And there is four. So yeah, make sure you focus your heavy attacks on one. One at a time. Pop stamina when you need to. Your shouts when you need to. And should should be pretty prove pretty easy for you guys. Um you see how I did when I he when he popped out of the coffin? <clears throat> I ran downstairs, and usually he'll stay up there. Um, I was lucky because my companion targeted him first, so she he was dealing with her, along with my Sanguine Rose minion, my Daedric minion. He was focusing on them, so I was able to uh, take care of the, the undead guys. If you have uh, potions of the Berserker, that'll work well here too. Take this guy down quicker. Uh, he glitches out here for me, so... Uh, <laughs> He's not even attacking anybody. He did this the first time too, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Gets destroyed. And I kill my uh, Daedric minion. Oh, did I kill him? Oh no, he's still alive. There you are. And here's the mask. Uh, 70 points of stamina. That's pretty cool. I might be wearing this mask around Skyrim. Uh, I think it can be upgraded too. So, I'll definitely be upgrading that. I wonder what it can be upgraded with. Oh yeah, there's a storm call shout out here too. Uh, I got a minute left here. Um, once you get out here, that guy that gave you the quest to get in here. I, I cut that out, but... <laughs> I kind of hacks it right here. <laughs> he, j he jumps into a bunch of different forms and tries to, take the sh try to, k tries to kill you. So, uh, <laughs> I kind of just hacks it right here. Oh, uh, you'll see in a second. Tee -hee. <laughs> My shout activates it, and it kills all of them. And then I rain death from above! <coughs> Turns out he was just an imposter. Spoilers! So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again, new subscribers. Uh, plenty more videos to come. So, yeah... Get destroyed. Get out of my face. So yeah, take it easy, everybody, and enjoy Skyrim. Bye-bye.